Last name Verdusco, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get Verdusco. Yeah, we're good. Verdusco. Verdusco, yeah. Verdusco. What's up, everybody? We're back today with Diego Verdusco from Lions at the Gate. About to go out on tour, playing a show tomorrow night down at the Rick House. And we're about to try some Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 30 cast drinks. Let's get it. Isn't this your favorite? This is my favorite. So, uh, just super quick story. Uh, a friend, a really great friend of mine, Brandon Hale, introduced me into this. And um, at first, I thought it was a story, you know, AIDS at sea, and it turns out it's real. Uh, I don't know what it does to it. It just tastes really, really good. And of course, I'm, like, I'm way too old and past the, the time of taking shots, so. Time to enjoy it's, it. Yeah, no, if, if anything, I'm only drinking like good stuff and I'm taking my time with it, savoring it. So I did a uh, distillery tour of Jefferson's about three years ago, and the story that they gave behind it was that they put the barrels on cargo ships. Okay. And they sail across the world on these different ship routes. They hit different temperatures, different climates, different kind of, you know, uh, uh, ocean circumstances where it might be rocking the boat more and it's supposed to swish the whiskey around in the barrel, okay. give it more flavor, and that's kind of, if, you know, their marketing ploy or whatever. I, I think it works for me. I've and always the salt water. It. Yeah, I've never had the cast strength version, so this ought to be interesting. Yeah. No, I, I, as soon as I tried it, I was like, this is my new yeah. favorite. This real, is... Real sweet bourbon, that's for sure. Single barrel bourbon whiskey, Voyage 30. I thought it said weeded before, but I guess no, we're no, wrong. not this one. This one's a straight bourbon. 29's weeded. 29's weeded. Yeah. yeah, it's just good, smooth, you well, know, very nice. round. Yeah, very brown. I mean, oddly enough, mm -hmm. this is a uh, single barrel hand selected by Red Rocks. Oh, no, it's Red Rocks 15. Okay. Good call. Uh, and I am by no means any type of like a, a whiskey expert or you know. around us for long enough you will be. <laughs> it's just I was like, okay, this is not trash that yeah, we're yeah, used yeah. to drinking when we're idiots, you know. So short change myself. Oh yeah. no. You get that full pour, that's right. That's right. Yeah, those our, idiot days are one full up. fat drink, <laughs> yeah. Definitely getting a lot of like a creme brulee almost on the top. Yeah, 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 definitely. Very sweet. Yeah, Not sweet good. like a flavor sweet, like a natural sweetness to it. Yeah, nice and thick too. Mm -hmm. Syrupy almost. Yeah. Put it on some pancakes. Yeah, dude, that's a great <laughs> tasting note actually. Pancakes, pancakes and syrup, yeah. yeah. It's got a very long finish to it. Yeah, it's punchy. What's the proof on that? 116.4. A neighbor of mine, he's a a wine sommelier, and um, you know he would treat me to some wine sometimes. And I'm like, this tastes very, and I'd come up with an adjective. He's like, you have a good sense of like taste and like explanation. Yeah, and man. I was like, I don't know, it's just what comes to mind. That's that's the whole thing is kind of really just not so much on focusing necessarily what you're drinking it's just yeah. mainly like picking up on your senses yeah like it's funny because like he he, uh, he gave me a, a south american wine to try and i mm -hmm. tasted it and i'm like this tastes like rocks <laughs> and he's like that's <laughs> hilarious because the notes are very earthy and you know i was like oh, that's okay. interesting man because i mean a lot of i don't know if you're tried a lot of scotches or not but they have very like a very swampy kind yeah. of mossy kind of Taste to them. Yeah. yeah, and they associate they, that with like river rocks and stuff. Interesting. Like that. It tastes so. like low tide smells. <laughs> <laughs> so, real funny story is uh, I got into whiskey with a roux, and a roux, you know, sober now doesn't drink at all. Uh, but we, we started <laughs> we started drinking uh, whiskeys and scotches in Australia because we were like trying to like be you know mindful about how much we drank, and it didn't work because we just ended up liking whiskey much more. And um, we started off with uh, Johnny Walker Red. It is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back, I'm sure <laughs> it was a mistake. And, and we were like, oh yeah, this tastes like 
And I was like, dude, this tastes like bandits. Yeah. <laughs> What's the other one he told us you guys just drink? Bushmills? Bush, oh, Bushmills is good. The black one? Yeah, that's the black Irish good. Yeah, 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 I think we got him a bottle of that one. Too. The best Irish whiskey I've ever had is Powers Gold Label. What we had Powers? Powers Gold Label. Oh. And we tried that in, in Holland once. And I was like, whoa, this... We went to a whiskey bar and the person was like a whiskey expert. Nice. And they like, this is a true, you know, Irish whiskey, yada, 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 yada. They gave us the whole history and how some whiskeys call themselves Irish, but they're really not. Okay. Or how, you know, like some will say like aged X amount of years. Right. But the same really as American not. whiskeys have to label their shit certain ways. Yeah. Like, I don't think te Texas whiskey can be called bourbon. Can it? Yeah, can. It can. As long as it follows the rules. Yeah, there's certain rules they have to follow. But yeah, it's... That's crazy. And what was it called again? Uh, Powers, Powers Gold, Gold Label. Oh. Yeah, really, really good. Super yeah. smooth. Other thing from you know just drinking good stuff is you realize like you don't get drunk. You just kind of like keep the warm buzz going. Right. And you don't wake up with a gnarly hangover. That's the whole. If you're drinking. Like, you trash. ain't hung out with us long. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> you're drinking trash. You just feel like garbage. You know. Yeah. You, you get drunk. You just don't get a hangover. Uh, yeah. That's the goal, right? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't always work that way. You guys got this stuff here, Eagle Rare. I just found out about that one a couple years ago. And that was a, a Christmas present. You take a little bit more spin, you'll see an Eagle Rare 17 oh. year old right here. That is a very hard to find bottle. Is it open? Oh, is it open? No. Oh, okay. It will be once, uh, once Fish has a grandson on the way, that's when that one gets cracked. All right. So, all right. Let's get the fucking kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them all the time. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah, Jefferson's Ocean. You guys got good and stuff. It opens up like, like right now, yeah. there's a little bit more oak on it, right? Like some more barrel. Mm -hmm. I no, I normally like my neat. I'm not, you know, I'm like putting ice or water in it. Yeah, us too, man. We're, we, we enjoy it. We're yeah. straight up. What I got off of it was that freaking brisket we ate earlier. That paired really nice with the stuff you gave us. With the stag? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The stag Junior Batch 12. That was really yeah, tasty with the brisket. That's what we had with it. The stag Junior. Yeah. I can't find You know where it's at. It's a, that's a Batch 12. That's a good one. And that was just like take a chunk of brisket and just like a little tiny sip of it. Oh, yeah, Whoa. man. It, the smokiness of the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paired yeah. well with the barbecue. That's another thing you learn as you get older, like pairing with foods and yep. you know, oh, that absolutely. was good shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. uh, brisket. You can't ever go wrong with real brisket. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys for that again. That's like definitely man. amazing food. So let's talk about the band a little bit, dude. Uh, what you got going on? What's new? I mean, you guys had the the album come out a year ago now. Uh, almost a year. It yeah. dropped last August. Uh, it's called the excuses you cannot or the excuses we cannot make. Uh, and then we just decided to surprise everybody. We dropped a brand new single. Hell yeah. It's yeah. called Can't Feel the Sun Anymore, or Can't Feel the Sun. And, um, you know, uh, we just don't want to stop making music. You know, so while we were finishing up the cycle for the, the previous album, I was already getting started. I had my ideas going. And, yeah, you know, uh, we did it similar to how we did Excuses. Okay. Um, and we did it partly at my house. And we have just a little tiny mini studio, if you can call it that even. And um, we record most of our instruments at my house, and then we did the lyrics and um, all the vocals, obviously, in Nashville with our uh, producer, Kyle Adele. Nice. He's in Nashville? He's out in Nashville, yeah. And um, new one or the same one from the previous? Same one. Same one. And um, we're super excited about this second album. You know, I was saying, like, I was extremely proud of the first album, yeah. and I thought that we really excelled as musicians, and we really brought an essence of what we wanted to be. Definitely. You know, I, I, I know for a fact that, like, everybody expected us to be what we were before. No, man, to me, honestly, when that album came out, it wasn't even that it was a fresh or a new sound. It just, to me, it screamed individuality yeah. and freedom. Yeah. Like, you know, you guys are now able to create whatever the fuck you want. A hundred percent. Any kind yeah. of ties or anything. And, you know, and it was just like, I know that a lot of the older fans are, are still like, when are you going to bring back the Latin element? It's like, I, I don't really have... We're not in that band. It's just, I mean, if you really kind of yeah. pay attention to the rhythm, it's still there. We're not going to lose the groove. Like, that's just inherent yeah. in me and, and, and uh, all of us. Like, we're a groove metal band. And uh, we can't not be that. 
you know so we're going to have the heavy with the melodic we're going to have the super groove we're going to have the fast you know i always try and get as you know some you know trim picking in there in this little song just yeah, you know if it fits it fits and that's one of the things that i said like about the band is like we're not holding ourselves within a a certain realm of well this is what we are you know and i'm, I'm i kind of like reference it to like being a painter like I got all these colors. Why am I going to stick to just three? It was to me, yeah. It, it, it was like a natural evolution. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that new song kicks ass too. Thank you. As thank soon you. as it came out, man, we were Can't cranking it. Song. That was, yeah, I man. think, the first one that we wrote for this new batch of songs, and um, that one came together really quick, or super quick. And Is it just uh, a taste of what's to come on the, yep. the rest of the stuff. Yeah, and like, uh, man, I was like, again, I'm so proud of the first one, and I was like, when we get working on the second one. We got to somehow beat the first one yeah. because yeah, it's just my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any surprise yeah. guests on the new album? Um, I can't really say yet. Okay. You know, <laughs> we'll gotta, see. We'll see. Gonna up their sleeve. You know, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're not afraid to just do it on our own. Right. right obviously. Right. Yeah. You know, we did. It, we've been doing it on our own. You know. Speaking of which, you're uh, heading out on tour right now, right? Yep. First show's tomorrow at the Rick House. You know. Thank you guys for having us there. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's fun because, I mean, Denver's such a great city. Your room lives here. And it's always been a, a, a place where we have great shows. You know. Big uh, fan base here, man. Great fan Obviously. base here. And, uh, man, the Mexican food here has jumped up a few levels. And we're going to go. <laughs> we could have told you. Oh, yeah, we got to take it to a good spot. Oh, oh man. Oh, we got a place close by. Maybe we're heading for what, lunch tomorrow. We, what was it? We were on the, the Nita Strauss tour? Yeah. Was that the one? And we went right there on Colfax. Mezcal, right across the street. That's it. That's it. Where? Mezcal. Right across the street. Right next to Goosetown Tab. Okay. Is that? I haven't been there. All of us were like, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Is like, it better than where we go? No. No? No, that's much better. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're Mexican food snobs. You know, and... But there was, I think there was the Nita tour. We were just trying every Mexican place we could find on tour. Some of them were total garbage. Yeah. But that one stands out as like, well, this is like California level. Nice, dude. Yeah. I mean, there's really good Mexican food. It was in California. Like, we, that's the bar that we set because, again, California. Oh, speaking of California. It's fact. I mean, I California, California has the best Mexican food. I lived in California when I was a little kid. Uh -huh. So my mom's absolute favorite Mexican restaurant was in Palmdale. And it was called El Torreo's. Doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. But even driving, I'd have to stop and get her food and bring it back. <laughs> There's nothing like good next to food. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's everywhere. We eat all the time. But when you find a spot, that's your spot. And, you know. California, don't you uh, still have a tattoo studio down there? I own a uh, tattoo studio Architect? called Art Artifact Tattoo. Artifact. Yep. I've actually, this is my 15th year as owner of that Hell place. Oh, yeah, dude. Congratulations. So, as well, I just own it. I own it. I don't. I don't tattoo. No, I, I focus more on like the business side of things, and making sure my artists have the work coming in. You know, and we'll call that. if uh, you know there's an angry client, which is very rare, <laughs> uh, I, I get to be the one that deals with them. But you know, that's so rare. I did like, tattooing for eight years. Did you? You gave it up? Yeah, just lost it. It happens, man. I've known quite a few good artists actually. I mean, the last tattoo yeah, I did was on my mother. And I got done, and I said, here's my tattoo artist. Go have it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> but now my tattoo artist moved to uh, Honduras. Well, so I need some new ink. They're <laughs> open and available. Go. Whenever you make a trip out there. Whereabouts are you guys, anyway? Uh, it's uh, the, sh the shop's in a city called Santa Clarita. It's about 30 minutes north of Hollywood. Okay. Is there zombies? There, well, the TV show, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's zombies everywhere nowadays. Yeah. We can go down to Colfax, there's a bunch of them there. Some in the building. Even. <laughs> <laughs> you might turn into one tonight. Hey, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> just walked. <laughs> right yeah. After drinking that and that, yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is tasty. This actually is really good. Yeah, I think the last, last time we drank. Oceans is when you were here. Yeah, it was. Last year with Nita Strauss. Yeah. Well, if Oceans wants to give us a sponsorship, or Jefferson's oh. Ocean wants to give us a sponsorship, we're, we're ready. And and Diego's it. looking. It's your chance to get in the music <laughs> world. <laughs> How can you say no to that face? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> and look, we even provide you with these sweet Lions of the Gate yeah. slate coasters. Need available at the show. Need some <laughs> glasses printed up and away you go. 
Oh, he could just take the Metalhead Whiskey Snowballs. There you go. These are good? Yeah. These are good. That shit is good. Right on, Anthony. You want to uh, say to the camera before we head you off? You know, just I want to appreciate, or I want to say I appreciate everybody, you know, who has listened to the new song. Um, and also for continuing to support us and follow us. Uh, all our socials are the same, Lines at the Gate. We're on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, all of them. Uh, hit us up, talk to us, tag us. We talk back to you guys. Um, you know, we Is love to respond you? to comments. Uh, yeah, it's either one of us. One of you. Yeah, we actually do respond personally. The band is in charge of it. Nice. I mean, we're an independent band. We like it that way for now, you know, and we, we take it serious. And uh, if you guys notice, like we're trying to stay as busy as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't be afraid to hit them up, man. Yeah. Great, great guys, killer tunes, and always, always working, touring, writing new shit. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Absolutely. I just want to say thank you to my band, thank you to all our sponsors, to our managers, to our booking agents, and to everybody out there who's taking the time to give us a chance and spend four minutes on us all. Fuck yeah, dude! Yeah. Hell yeah! Hell thank you. Guys. That. Cheers. 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 Thank you guys, appreciate it.